My name is Anthony Lang. I'm 20 years old and I used to weigh 270 pounds. Um, as a kid, I didn't really notice I had a weight problem until about my freshman year because, you know, kids are cruel and they start like picking at you and stuff. So then, I don't know, I just, one day I just like snapped and I was just like, man, I'm just going to lose weight. And so I just started dieting and I did all this research on exercising and nutrition and all that and I put theory into practice and practice became results basically and first started losing weight uh, probably like the middle of my sophomore year. Um, just something this one girl said, I know who she was, she called me fat and something in my mind just snapped and I was determined to lose weight so I did all my research on everything there's to research about losing weight. I started doing cardio and dieting, uh, really low calories, but I lost weight pretty fast. Um, I went from 270 to 145 in a year and a half. And then by that time, my parents, um, they were worried about me. They thought, you know, I was becoming anorexic, which I think I was. I was only eating 1,000 calories a day, running three to five miles a night, every night, no rest. And I was getting really tired. I'd avoid my friends because they'd want to go out and eat go out and hang out and do stuff and I was just like I just want to keep losing weight I just want to get thinner and thinner but then my next door neighbor came up to me and was like you should come to my gym and um, I'll help you work out and build muscle I was like that sounds cool and he told me I had I'd had to eat 3,000 calories a day but in my mind I had a mental block that was like whoa I don't want to get fat again you know don't eat that much so I started working out with him but he knows I wasn't making the results I should have but he talked to my dad and all that, and my diet was corrected, and I started gaining weight, but it was nice because I was getting stronger, my energy levels were back to normal, hormones, all that. I was willing to hang out with my friends more, and um, I started lifting heavy, um, eating more and more until right now I'm about 190 pounds, and um, I'm really strong. Um, energy is always great. When I was heavier, I would eat anything that I could get my hands on. Mostly junk food, you know, hot Cheetos, whole bag, um, pizzas, and I'd eat a lot of it. I'd eat till I was sick or till I was really full. And I mean, now that I look back at it, I was probably eating like well over 6,000 calories a day, if not more. And that's what got me so big and I'm glad I realized that what I was doing back then was doing harm to my body so I could correct it. I've always had an interest in um, bodybuilding since I was a kid, since I saw Terminator 2 with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and um, he just inspired me to, you know, push myself to the limit after I got, you know, I started going to the gym and all that. And um, I just, I've always wanted to do what I've been doing now and I'm enjoying it. I, I don't think I'll ever stop doing it because it's just part of my life now. And now that I'm doing bodybuilding, my diet consists of 4,000 calories a day. I uh, eat a lot of oatmeal, a lot of it. I eat, um, easily go through five dozen eggs a week, uh, three pounds of chicken a week, and um, lots of steak. I do some protein powder here and there. Um, lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, I don't believe in eating unhealthy. It's all about just man, like watching how you eat. I mean, it's okay to eat unhealthy here and there. It's not a big deal. It's just when people go out to eat every single day, every single meal, you know, it adds up and they don't realize it. I avoid soda though, I completely avoid soda. I mean, I just don't like it anymore. And um, lots of water, gallon a day, and that's about it. Curly weighing 190 pounds. Um, I lift four times a week, uh, really heavy weight, that's all I do. And um, by the end of the year, I'd like to be 195 pounds, and then Beginning of next year, I'm going to start cutting down and hopefully compete in the Copper Classic coming up in March. We'll see how that goes. And um, long term, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. I already know it. And um, I enjoy it every day. I don't think I'll ever give up unless something prevented me from doing it, like illness or anything, because I just, I can't stop. It's, you know, part of me, so.